was just 63 years old when he passed away on Thursday, 22nd August 2019 at Hammersmith Hospital. Our world will never be the same without him in our daily life. But we know our lives and the lives of others. Ernest was our Moses who saved us from the shackles. Sorry. Ernest, Ernest was our Moses who saved us from the shackles of poverty. When there was no hope, that he was earning to support mother, to feed us and pay for our families. He continued to support us when he traveled to UK until he brought some of us to join him to ease the pressure on our family. Ernest was the fourth of our siblings, but at an early age, he took the mantle and acted like the most senior sibling amongst us. 
he was very protective over us. And he and this bothered us when we were young. But now that we look back, we know that he loved us a lot and wanted what was best for us. And as is now in heaven, watching over us as one of the newer angels. Our brother wanted to be our guide and advisor. Now he's capable of being just that from the heavenly aspect. He encouraged us to work hard and believe in our abilities to succeed in life and always said, you make it. Well, you have laid the foundation, brother. We are going to make it, and we know you and the angels. Chapter 10. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the other will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he had not another to help him up. There is so much I want to say about my dear loving husband. Words cannot describe how much he meant to me. His children and his family. 20 years of marriage with him was pure bliss, and I'm grateful to have shared each person day by his side to the end. He was my best friend, confident, and life partner, always there to support me even in the darkest moments. My husband was my best father, was the best father. He would always say whilst I responded for him which means king, because he was the king of the entire household. Quite your blessing. May the Almighty Father keep your soul safe and grant you eternal rest. I know you are rejoicing in heaven and watching over us. Even though my best friend and rock is no more, I am constantly reminded that God is my helper. Amen. A time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Amen. Amen. God's greatest gift, that was you that was to us, a loving father who managed to provide for his family even in difficult times. Everything that we are is all thanks to this great man. His calm and peaceful nature always drew us closer to him and we were never afraid to confine him. Papa's view of life and his love for peace is what made him a confidant and counselor. He always knew how to settle even on a delicate issue to bring peace in his family and workplace. <clears throat> One thing we'll never forget is the way he called our names when he was home from work. Jenny, Papa, Sister. He made sure to give us undivided attention when he came home every evening. We would always sit together as a family to share dinner and discuss our day. Father's love for education and success was immense. He would always tell us, your pen should be your best friend because it is from your pen you shall eat from. He placed in us the spirit, the spirit of hard work and academic excellence. Thanks to him, we've gotten the best of education. My other sister is now a doctor, my little sister is now in secondary school, and myself in one of the best universities, which was his dream come true. In our early years, Dad taught us everything we needed to know about money, savings and investments. As we aged, we realized those were the tools to success and financial freedom. Dad will always be remembered for his kindness and generosity to everyone around him and should be. <clears throat> no one can ever take a place in our hearts. He was a man who taught us who came from absolute poverty but still managed to achieve great success. We will forever miss you and we know you're up in heaven watching over us. Rest in perfect peace, Dad. Will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer, 
will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. As someone who knew God, we can be sure of the promise that God and the new life through Jesus brings for Ernest today. And so when we read this of the people of God being brought back to him, perfect peace, no more death, no more crying, no more weeping, no more sorrow. That's what we pray for today, for Ernest's family and friends. But we also pray for that Ernest has been gathered back to his Redeemer, to his Maker, and that he will be there worshipping before the throne of God and before the throne of grace. That's what we pray and hope for today. And as we think of that wonderful grace, that free gift that we get from God, so freely bestowed upon us, even though we really, really do not deserve it, we are going to stand and sing about God's amazing grace now. So let's turn to our service books and sing together. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound.
confident.
and now we come to lay Ernest at his final resting place. And let us remember that the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. He is slow to anger, yet of great goodness. As a father tender towards his children, so is the Lord tender to those that fear him. For he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. The wind goes over it. It is gone. And its place will know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever and ever towards those that fear him and his righteousness on their children's children. So we have entrusted today our brother Ernest to God's mercy and to his love. We have now committed his body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies, that they might be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Amen. I think now it just comes to a time when we say, Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before the sight of all people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Father, in your Son, Jesus Christ, you have given us a true faith and a sure hope. Strengthen this faith and hope in us all our days, that we may live as those who believe in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us pray. <coughs> Support us, O oh Lord, all the day long in this troublesome life until the shadows lengthen and the evening comes. The busy world is hushed and the fever of life is over and our work is done. But then, Lord, in your mercy, grant us safe lodging, a holy rest, and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So, as we've entrusted Ernest back to God, it only remains for us to commend ourselves to God's presence too. So may God in his infinite love and mercy bring the whole church living and departed in the Lord Jesus Christ to a joyful resurrection and the fulfillment of his eternal kingdom. So may God give us the comfort of his peace, his light and his joy in this world and the next. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us 
and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the final prayer that we have in our service books. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as the pathway to peace, taking as he did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it. Trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. That I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen. Amen. So may God bless us all and all those we love, all those we care for. May we take earnest example of living life not just for himself but for all the others around him. Uh, God, accept this wonderful man into your presence now. Amen. 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 Amen.
Share the grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell on the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen.